Parents and students, okay, so we finished our first week, we're getting into the second week, and I still have some kids that are confused, I'm sure some parents too, about a couple things. So I want to go over our Schoology course real quick and go over where the information exists and clarify a couple of points because I understand you have a lot of different classes, people are stressed out, people are oversaturated with information, so I think this will be easier. Plus, I have some ideas that I'm going to add later that have helped me with my own children that are in first and fourth grade with some things their, their teachers are doing to help keep us on track. Okay, first off, let me give you an overview of the Schoology page. Make sure you're looking at the right one. It says IFL 2020-21 Beginner, sixth grade, and it has right here Garcia and Sartarsha. So you know you're in the right one if it's the combined one, okay? So this purple folder is the main folder, but let me go over a couple things down here. So from your headband director or ask your headband director, so I want to clarify and streamline some things for you to get the right information. If you have band questions that are general band questions that relate just to money or um, shirt sizes or you know forms, that's going to need to be uh, sent to your head director for your school. I'm not going to know the answer as quickly as they will. Uh, I deal with percussion related things like equipment, curriculum for percussion class stuff. Those other details are going to know. Otherwise, I just become the middleman and you're not going to get your answer very quickly because uh, I'm at three different campuses. So everybody does it a little bit differently. So we need to ask the head director. So I made this to make it easier. If you click on that, we have your Garcia. Here's Mr. Morris and here's Ms. Amos for Sartarsha. There is a discussion post where you can post your questions and they can answer. Also, they might include some folders in here where you have information or things that you need to print or finish. Now, right off the bat, guys, you see how I'm opening from these arrows? We discovered today that, for example, with that's our Tarsha's folder, if you just click on these arrows, you're not going to get the full information. So let's actually click on the folder. And as you can see, when you click on week one, it has all this information. You don't see that when you just click on this on the arrow. It'll just say empty folder. So you really need to click on these clickable uh, underlined things. Okay, already Mrs. Amos told me right here on this week one stuff, we had some private lesson forms due or what, I'm just using this as an example. All right, so when you sign up for this private lessons link, when you click on this, it will take you to a PDF that is fillable. So you can go in there and type in it, but then you have to make sure you save and then send us the one that you saved. If you if you don't save it, it's just gonna send us the same blank form. Okay, you can also print it and fill it out by hand and scan it and then and send it into Miss Amos. But you know, we, you also have the e-form option, but you gotta make sure you save it, then send it. Okay, so again, make sure you're clicking on the folder, not the arrows on the side, otherwise it will share, share this information. So let me back it up. So make sure you ask questions there or, or look there for information every now and then from your head director because there will be little things like paperwork due. Okay, remote asynchronous. Let's say you had trouble with your Wi-Fi and you're trying to connect and you're present but you can't get into the class. I need you to send me a message on Remind and then also click on here. And by the way, if you're not signed up for Remind, you can't do that. So that's on your checklist, which we're, we're gonna go over in a second, that needs to be printed because you're otherwise you're gonna be, you're not gonna know what's going on. Okay, you click on here and write me a message of what the problem was, okay? And then we can go in and make sure that we get you um, fixed on your attendance record, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go back to the beginner thing here. So down here is just your schedule and then Teams, but everybody's joining Teams through the calendar by now. And so I'm gonna move on to the main folder, the purple folder. Okay, I have a little welcome letter here and again, something about the Teams, but pretty much everybody's in the right Teams by now. We have three folders here. The main one with grades and when things are due, it's called course content, but I put grades are here to just make it very obvious. Okay, we have classroom information here, a lot of important stuff and parent resources. We'll go over those two later, but let's go over how grades are gonna be done. Okay, grading period one is where your grades are gonna live for this first grading period, okay? Anything underneath it is supplemental, like we're gonna get into this handbook soon, so you need to, to be able to get to that. Hopefully you're back face to face, you don't have to print that whole thing. Okay, week one, I just put the first uh, day if you missed that, and I even had a couple students say they missed the first day and they haven't watched that yet. So that's where we have a lot, some more confusion. Okay, so we need to watch the videos that I create. You just click on there, if you see that chain, that's a clickable link where it's like a YouTube video that I created. We're in week two. Today we had Monday with the beginner class, and we had kids that didn't do this lesson. This was a grade, it's already late. 
Um, and then that caused class to go very slowly today because only two people did the assignment. Okay, not only that, I announced that on Friday, but it also shows in your reminders over here when you have something due. I have the idea to do a week one or week two checklist that you can print at the beginning of Monday and that way you have a checklist for the week. So this is again a, a video that I asked them to watch on Friday and not everybody watched it. So if we don't watch the videos I create, it's just gonna take class time and only seeing them twice a week, it's just gonna go painfully slow and then it's hard to see them on the other end. I know that's not anybody's fault, but we're trying to combat this by having these preventative videos and we gotta watch this stuff. Cause even when I describe it in class, kids are not listening. So we need to make sure that we're paying attention and watching these videos all the way through, especially if it's an assignment. I'm not gonna be as flexible with late grades this year. It just did not work very well last spring, which is understandable, but we gotta get stuff in on time, okay? Uh, I even made an example video of what your video should look like, okay? So then, and you make sure you submit that. Now, uh, when you turn in your assignment, it's very important that you check for feedback. I'm either gonna write comments next to your video on the right, or it's going to have an audio recording that I have a critique where I'm talking to you about the things you need to fix. Okay, because if you don't go in, you're not gonna be submitting videos that are pretty much perfect. You're gonna have a lot of things to fix. So if you don't get the feedback, you can't fix it, and then I have to fix it in class because you didn't listen to it. And so then it takes even more time. Okay, so it's gonna be very important that you turn things in on time, be aware, watch, make sure you upload the right videos, make sure you check for your comments and make the proper adjustments. Okay, on Tuesday we have an assignment. Today I need you to print off your middle school student and parent checklist and show me a picture that you actually printed it. That's to keep you on track because I have some people that are still not on remind and you're not getting information from me and you're not able to contact me appropriately. So there are things that we need to get done that are not getting done and I made a checklist last week and we're not, we still haven't done it. Okay, so we, we've, got to, we've got to get moving here because it's um, going to start bogging down class. Okay, in the purple folder again, the main folder, I just went through where the grades are in the course content. Right here, class information, a lot of important stuff here, okay? This has, says something about me and how to contact me through email or remind. And there's your checklist again, but I put that in the assignment for Tuesday. Make sure you go through that checklist. If you're not going to the checklist, you're going to be, you're, you're skipping steps and that's just going to cause problems in how the year goes. Okay, so all these bullet points we need to make sure we're going through, okay? The only one that maybe you're, we're not ready to do yet is ensemble block, but we need to do that eventually. Okay, so I'm back here in class information resources. So right here was your checklist and basically the, the clickable link here underneath it kind of explains how to make sure you can go through that checklist and make sure everything is done, okay? This is huge, you gotta sign up for Remind. I need one parent and one student signing up on Remind. You can do it on your cell phone or you can just put this link in and join. You can do it through email, you can do it through text, you can download the app, but that's how that's the main way I'm gonna communicate this year, okay? And how sometimes you need to get a hold of me, okay? Make sure you have the, you're in the correct Schoology, you should be already, and you're probably in the right teams because it's in your calendar. Ensemble Block, we will go over later. I don't wanna confuse you with that yet, but this is a huge new resource this is my YouTube channel here, how to get to it. Um, I'm gonna have a, a lot of the raw videos that are in the assignments already live there and a lot of helpful things if you wanna get ahead. Right here is a music directory. So you need to know how to get to the music directory. And then here's your charms information. Now, how to join Remind. This is a simple way to go through how to join Remind parents. One parent, one student needs to be on Remind. You guys got, we're already late with this. Okay, so go through this and make sure you're on Remind. Here are my office hours, and here's the online learning expectations for the classroom, like have your camera on. I had to remind a couple kids to have their camera on. Today, I shouldn't have to do that. You guys can read through that on your own, okay? This is the course syllabus. Um, some of it is not as detailed because we need to see how this online stuff goes and we can change as we go. Okay, think this is the most important part here, required equipment. I sent parents lists over the summer with emails as we approved people to be in the percussion class and I already sent this out. Now I, do ha I did send you a clickable link to get to your percussion packs, but those percussion packs, like I said in the email, don't include your practice marimba or your practice xylophone. And so I've already had some beginners asking, are we supposed to have that? I'm like, of course, you gotta read, okay? So we need to read through this carefully. So this whole thing, um, as you can see in the middle here, it says a practice keyboard, purchase or rent. Okay, and there are some options there. You should be renting that either from H&H &H or Fleming's 
or Lone Star. Uh, Music and Arts has some, and so does Fort Bend Music Center. Okay, but please read through all this stuff and make sure you're checking that you have these things. Okay, what's going to happen is I, if you're not thorough in reading and making sure you have everything you need, then I'm going to discover it later and it's going to be too late. So we need to make sure we have all our things. So print that off and make sure you're double checking that you have the right equipment. Okay, we got to get those practice marimbas because we do snare weeks and then we do marimba weeks. Make sure you're doing that. There's a clickable link. If you need to just get uh, one or two things, you can just go straight to the website and get it there. And then there's your Lone Star shipping code. Okay, back to classroom information and resources. Okay, we were down here on required equipment. And this right here, the function of apps and online resources, important. This tells you how we're going to use what. Okay, so for example, like what are we using Schoology for? What are we using Skyward for? What are we using Teams for? If we do a sectional, it might be in Zoom, Ensemble Block, kind of explains it a little bit more, although I'm going to get into that later on during the weeks. How to get to my YouTube channel, what we use it for, the music directory, and you need a password for that. Okay, and then down here we have how to, you can just click to get to my YouTube channel. Uh, here's the Ensemble Block promo if you want to get ahead and like see what Ensemble Block is all about. But that's a new resource we're very excited about, and that's how you sign up for Ensemble Block when the time comes. Okay, let me back it up here. Schoology video assignment requirements. So you're always going to need to play with the metronomes. You should have purchased one already or you have one on your phone, an app on your phone. And here are some online metronome options. You can't submit a video that doesn't have a tempo because your assignments are going to have tempo ranges. If it doesn't have a metronome, I can't count it. Okay. And then I watch this with the kids already. These are do's and don'ts in your videos like camera angles that I need to see and, and um, things that we need to avoid. We need to have videos that I can see properly otherwise again I can't count them so you might want to check that out okay we're gonna go to the again main folder and then we already went through grades went through class information here's the parents a lot of this parent resource stuff is the same stuff you do have a different checklist but again I put that in your Tuesday grades for week two again make sure you're printing that and going through that it's gonna welcome parent letter here again it's the same like how we're using the apps uh, how you join remind how we're gonna use the apps uh, same clickable links as the students. I just put it there just in case you were looking in the parent folder. Okay, and I think the most important thing here is how to support your student. Make sure they have the right materials. That's huge and have a working workspace. For example, like we should be drumming soon. So I need to be able to, they need to be able to back up uh, and I need to see the top of their head all the way to their instrument. And if they're, if they're wearing headphones that don't reach, that's not going to work. Uh, if they can't back up far enough because the room is too cluttered, that's going to be an issue. And if they don't have their equipment ready to go in the same room as they're logged in in Teams, that's going to be an issue too. They might need speakers to record their videos with, and they have a they need to probably use a phone to record their videos, and then use speakers for the sound for their metronome or play along track. Make sure you're signing up for all communications. A lot of that's on your to do list, and again, Ensemble Block is going to be very important later on. Okay, this is super important. Signing up for private lessons, which we kind of went over at the beginning, but you can email these lesson teachers directly and see their availability. But we usually have about 95% of kids in lessons, so we need to make sure that we're signing up for lessons, especially the fact that we're online. Our lesson teachers did online stuff all summer, so they're well equipped with how to help you, okay? And the fact that I only see them two and a half classes, being in private lessons is gonna really help a lot, okay? Private lessons are 23 to 25 a half hour. And I was in lessons all seven years that I was in middle school and high school. So that's a pretty normal thing for a specialized percussion instrument. All right, so again, make sure you're looking over here when due dates are coming up. Be aware of your schedule. Look on grades here and look on your grading period one and make sure you're in the proper week and you're, you're making sure you're getting things done and watching all the videos you're supposed to watch, okay? And be thorough, pay attention. If you, if you don't do it, then we're gonna have to do it in class because Mr. I is not gonna move on unless you do it right. That's part of what band is, is detailed, diligent work. I, if I let you play wrong and the equipment's wrong and you're holding the stick wrong and I just have to keep moving, you're just gonna build all these bad habits that are just gonna be a real pain later, okay? So guys, please, I know it's a lot of information. Things are settling down a little bit for you, but band has a lot of details. So if we don't have the right equipment, we're not signed up for the right communications, it's just gonna cause problems down the road. We need to get the checklist done and make sure any questions are answered so we don't have issues later on, okay? So thanks guys for watching this and we'll talk to you later.